Welcome to Obsidian. Let's create a default new tab page. All right, g'day guys, and welcome back today to another Obsidian video. Today we're going to be having a look at the uh, the new tab system um, and basically having a look at a new plugin that provides us some functionality. Because I don't know about you guys, but uh, I came into this uh, this new tab system, which is marvelous, right? You can you can make a new tab, you can drag them out. Um, it's just so much easier to navigate all of your information when it's like this. I'm really quite quite a fan of it. But one thing I don't like is this new button. All right, this no file is open page is just so so blase, right? It's so bland. It's got nothing here. Sure, you can create a new file, but where does it go? You know, you can go to a file. You can see recent files, but you know, like it's just nothing to it. You know, if you, you come from like Chrome and you have a new tab button in Chrome that shows you all your regular stuff that you go to and you can set your favorites. Like when you think tabs and your, your new tab button, you think this is what should be here. And I'll tell you right now, like I think this is something where Obsidian probably stand to do a fairly, you know, simple improvement um, that hopefully they'll, they'll consider like, let me, let me show you what I'm talking about, all right? There's a new plugin in town. It's probably one of my new favorite plugins. Um, and effectively what it does is it lets you set whatever you like to your home page or your new tab button. So let's go through and do the installation. Let's have a look at this. So we go down to settings and from there, community plugins, we're going to go browse. And if you just type in a new tab, you should see something come up. So there's one here called new tab default page. And I think this was actually the first plugin to come out um, that utilizes the new tab functionality. So it was quick to market. Um, it's from here from Pseudometer. Um, we can see it's been installed a thousand times. Um, you know, it's got a readme here, but look, go through, do the install, click enable. Um, and then what you want to do is you want to jump into the options and have a look what it's doing. And it's pretty simple here. So when the new tab opens, what to open, you've got all sorts of different options here. All right. So you can open your daily note. You can open your weekly notes. You can open a random note. All right. But what I'm really liking is this new tab page new tab page and then come down here default new tab page and all you do is you pick a note all right so you can see here i've got mine in my session journals folder, uh, folder which is in my deadly depth in folder which then points to deadly depth in .md. all right we can set the mode that it opens to so we're just setting it to obsidian default but just pick a note any note put it somewhere you're going to remember it and uh, come in here and set it up that's all you need to do all right so we close that out what happens now? So we'll get rid of some of these. All right. And if we press our new tab button, boom. All right. Look how much more useful this is, right? This is my new landing page for a new tab. All right. I've put a banner up here. I've got a category here of links that go to things that I'm using all the time in my game. I've got a, um, uh, a heat map calendar that shows when my game sessions have been um, organized for. Um, all right, so we can see the notes that are in here. I think that was, I oh don't know, we had another session as well. All right, so I can come in here and I can keep track of my journal of my sessions. I can see when my sessions are coming up. Um, and then down here, I've just got a data view query that just pulls in all my characters. And as you can see, like the idea of this is quite simple. I land here when I'm in a game, all right, I quickly need something. I've got access to my map. I've got access to my journey board, which is my, my prep and my planning. I've got access to the chapter that I'm about to run in the adventure module that we're about to do. I've got access to my character sheets. But more importantly, like this is just a note. All right, I can put whatever I want in here and that will be useful for me. Okay, so just think about what you could do there. All right, all your popular links. You could have a data view query that shows the last two days of modified notes. Um, <laughs> I did have that, by the way, that was in here. It was quite nice. I turned it off. The reason why I turned it off is I use a lot of um, bulk importing and it was creating a lot of notes that have been modified in the last two days and it was slowing down my system. All right, so yeah, that's pretty much all there is to it, right? It's where uh, we're basically just making it so that the plus button becomes absolutely useful and amazing. Um, I'm really quite a fan of it. And, you know, just to speak to, you know, why I think this is fantastic, you know, like it's, it's all about quickly being able to bring up the information that you want. And obviously like most people would be aware that, you know, you've got your folders over here that you can certainly use. Um, 
that's that's one way to obviously find things. Uh, the other method used to be workplaces. All right, I've actually stopped using workspaces when I play. Um, the reasoning for that, because um, I did really like the ability to have a workspace up and saved, but when you uh, switch to a workspace, all of the uh, extra uh, windows that you've made, so you know, if you drag something out, for example, um, they all uh, shut down when you change workspaces. So therefore, while it is useful to have a workspace, um, it also you know, resets things like my player facing window and stuff like that. So I have stopped using those as well. Um, I were, was using the starred. I, I quite liked the starred and that was a nice way and I'm still going to use that. But as you can see, like the things I've got starred are largely the things that I've put into my new tab button. And I'm finding the new tab button is just, it's visually appealing, it's quick to use. I've got full control over what I put in there and how it looks. And it's just really improving the speed and efficiency at which I can find the information that I need at my table. And I think like at the end of the day, like that's what Obsidian exists for, right? Or any campaign manager, to be honest, it, it exists to make sure that you can find the information you need quickly and efficiently so that when you're playing your game, you've got minimal downtime and you just keep on playing the game. And I'm at a point now where Obsidian is absolutely meeting that requirement. Like if someone throws a bell curve at me, I can largely bring something up about the area and tell them something unique to that spot and really enjoy using it. And I think this plugin it just goes that extra step um, to make that work. Now, I will say this though, just so that you guys are aware of uh, an issue that I did find. If you are using the Initiative Tracker plugin, all right, so I think Initiative Tracker has a player view window. All right, just be aware that this plugin does override that functionality. All right, I think that both plugins are using the same method in order to obviously call their new window. So therefore it, it overrides it. So I don't know if there's anything that can be done to fix that. Um, we have alerted uh, Javelin to it, um, just to, to let him know. Um, and yeah, we'll see what happens with that. But uh, I'm not really using the uh, player facing screen to be completely honest like I, I just tell my players whose turn it is and I I use my player facing window to show them pictures of NPCs and monsters which I prefer it keeps it more thematic and in game um, versus you know computer game experience so anyway just the only issue that I have found with it I've decided to go with this instead because I really do quite like the functionality so there you go all right, anyway, guys, that has been a rather short video for today on how to do the uh, or use the default new tab plugin. I highly recommend it. Um, I, I think it's fantastic. So, hopefully, you're finding these videos useful. If you are, please do like and subscribe using the buttons below. Um, just a huge shout out to all of my Patreons. Um, you know, you guys are fantastic. There's uh, there's even a game spinning up inside of the Patreon now, so uh, I think they're about to start a D&D 5th edition campaign, so that should be a bit of fun. Uh, but really loving the community engagement, guys, and the fact that it's like blowing up into this really active Discord channel is uh, really fantastic. So huge thanks, loving you guys. Um, I will speak to you all on the forums, and uh, have a great day.